hey, welcome back to Out of the Box with Christine, the podcast for conscious entrepreneurs, where I, Christine Blasdell, get to bring to you, the conscious entrepreneur, some master teachers in all realms of life, health, wealth, love, prosperity, abundance, and you name it. If it's about making your life better, we're going to be talking about it on the show. Stay tuned. It's going to be a great episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Out of the Box with Christine. I am your host, Christine Blasdale, and I am super excited. We are the show about conscious entrepreneurs, and I have one with me today who's going to be talking about her journey. Her name is Hane Sigari, and not only is she an entrepreneur, she is a biochemist. How can you be a biochemist? You're so young. And anti-aging industry disruptor. Her holistic skincare brand, Cairo, is the culmination of a lifelong mission to improve lives and increase longevity. And uh, if you saw how the growth of her company, how, how amazing it is over the last few years, you'd be astonished. But we're gonna talk about that and her journey um, along the way. Welcome to Out of the Box. How are you doing, love? I am doing great. Thank you, Christine. What a nice intro. <laughs> Thank you. I hope it's all true. <laughs> well, and Out of the Box with Christine is the podcast for conscious entrepreneurs. And so I invited you on, not just because you're hugely successful with your skincare company, but also because you bring with that your passion for helping people for helping women in particular as well for entrepreneurs and also um, carrying on the work and the, the motivation from your mom as well, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's correct, yeah. It's just been, the aging industry has been my, my passion and I've been in it for a very long time. Um, and so, yeah, my mom actually um, is the motivation behind this, this brand. And I could start with the story. I could tell you uh, where it all started. It was 1979, Iranian Revolution. Um, they, the college students actually started this revolution. So mom, um, her roommates were taken to prison. Every single one of them were executed. And my mom was next on the execution list. So six months in prison and someone finally sees her name on a list, one of her classmates and says, oh my God, I recognize this name. What is she doing here? And at this time, um, a lot of a lot of women were ending up in shelters, right? From um, they're going into the shelter. So he approached my mom and said, "Would you be willing to run one of these shelters if I could get you out of prison?" And my mom said, "Of course, get me out of here, you know." And um, this, she started running a shelter of sixty women, and slowly the Iran Iraq War started, and there were more and more women coming into the shelter. So. What she found is that she had to occupy these women's time, right? And teach them a skill and her skill was sewing. So she started, you know, just with um, needle and thread, teaching them how to sew a collar or sew a, you know, a doll's dress or a shirt or whatnot. And then little by little, she's like running out of, you know, these women are picking up the skills. So she goes back and asks for sewing machines. If I can get, can I please get sewing machines? Cause I want to, you know, elevate the, um, the skills of these women. And they said, sure, we'll give you sewing machines as long as, um, can you guys provide military uniforms and sheets and so forth? The war has started and we need, we need supplies. So my mom's like, all right, not a problem. Give us the sewing machines. And he gave her a couple hundred sewing machines. It wasn't just a couple, it was a lot. And my mom being young, a social worker, no background in business, um, never really been in management, right? Uh, she was able to, you know, set up assembly lines and teach these women how to sew. And then, uh, she went back to the administration and said, uh, we've been doing this for a very long time. Can these women get paid for, for their work? So um, yeah, they came back and they gave a stipend and little by little, these women that were in shelters, a couple hundred women were able to save up. Some remarried, left, some, some were able to save up, get a job now, they have this skill. So anyway, this story was part of my life and growing up you know to me my mom was a hero amongst these women like wow she's able to not only run a shelter but give back to women teach them a skill but also um 
elevate their lives, which she did for 300 women. I used to always say as a child, I'm going to do for thousands one day, mom, I'm going to follow in your footsteps. And sure enough, when I came to the US, um, I was seven years old. I was actually born during the Iran-Iraq war. It took a very long time for us to legally immigrate to the US. Um, and my dad was here pre-revolution, but he wasn't able to bring us over. So 10 years we were apart. My dad was in the US, we were, we were in Iran. And at age seven, or my mom was there, and, and then I was born. At age seven, I came to the US and I found myself befriending all the elderly in my, um, in my complex. I guess my dad moved us into a 50 plus community without knowing it. So um, yeah, the, they took me in and they taught me how to speak English. They taught me, Miss Madeline taught me how to paint another one. You know, they were teaching me all the things that they knew. Um, and you know, what happens when you have a lot of friends that are older is that they start dropping off by the time you're, you know, in sixth grade. And that was really the motivation for me to want to get into the sciences so I could save my friends. You know, I, I started studying what causes aging, what is death, right? What happens? What's the process of death? Okay, it starts at a cellular level, it's cell death. And that's where really my love and passion for the aging process started. And then I found myself working at a nursing home. And here's where the beauty part comes in. After 5 p.m. when everyone would go home, all the bosses would go home, I would gather all the elderly into the corridor and I would do their hair, their makeup and, you know, sing songs with them. And these women that were frail in wheelchairs would just come to life. And I love that. I was like, wow, this one-on-one -on -one care, like these guys need, need attention and one-on-one -on -one and, and look how much beauty at, at any age, you know, can, can uplift. So I went and I studied the sciences and I went to grad school. And after I was done, um, I was supposed to go to medical school, but something inside of me was like, no, I, I want to do that one-on-one -on -one care. So my husband asked me, well, if there's anything you could do in the world, what would it be? And I was like, I would want to own nursing homes, but we don't have the money. We're, you know, these poor college students. Um, we just graduated. We don't have a penny to our name. And he said, well, why don't you start small? Um, we have a little bit of like our wedding money together. We could put it together and maybe you could start a business. And I was like, but I don't know anything about a business. I've only been in the sciences. And that's when I started my home health care company. And why I started home health care was that, you know, we would, what's more intimate than being in someone's home and having that one-on-one. -on -one. And I really wanted to have an impact on the field of aging. So we started, I started small, um, a couple clients I was able to get, and then I was able to get, uh, you know, insurance contracts and <clears throat> grow this thing. And then the first year, Christine, we hit $1.2 million in revenue. And I was like, Whoa. And, and, you know, what's interesting is when you're really passionate about something, you don't like the money is just naturally comes. Like, I didn't know that I'm making money. I didn't even know I, my accountant would, would tell me like, wow, you're doing really good. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you know, next year, double that the year after double that. And, and so we had a successful a, a very successful run with, with the home healthcare company. But what ended up happening was um, it became, a, I had a lot of staff, over 500 plus staff members, right? And a majority of them are were home health aid workers um, and not making a whole lot of money. And I couldn't offer them <clears throat> more opportunity because the insurance reimbursements were so low. And I just wish I could give them some, some more, um, more than what I, I was giving them. And I would try to encourage some of them. Do you want to go back to nursing school? Have you thought about? So that's when, like, it started discouraging me a little bit. Like, what's the point when, and now it's becoming like, a staffing company almost. It's, I, I got into it to make a difference in the field of aging, but now, you know, I have all this staff I have to manage. And I don't know, like that, at that point, you know, that pep in my step, that, that thing that would get me out of bed, that why that I had started to slowly diminish. And at the same time, my husband had started a e-commerce company, uh, e-commerce and fulfillment company. So he was developing the software, asked me to come on board to, you know, run the front end um, operations and, um, you know, help with some of the sales and development. So 
anyways, I, I just, I was working on his business. I was, you know, doing mine and I slowly burned out and, you know, that's when I knew we, we got to have a restart somewhere. So that's, that's and then, <laughs> and then, and then how did you get to the skincare? For it. So, um, decided to sell the home healthcare business, focus on my husband's business, uh, full time. And that was growing. We hit $20 million in revenue and, you know, we're like expanding internationally. Um, and I knew that it's time. Like I just, that dread comes over you in the morning. And like, sometimes people ask like, when do you know it's time to move on? It's like, you know, you know, when it's time. So, um, I took some time off and my husband and I were trying to have, have children and we couldn't for a very long time. So I, and our relationship was also falling apart. You know, we were away from one another, so busy on the business and really it came down to like, a divorce, right? We got to separate and, you know, and I said, why don't I get out and, and travel a little bit? I always wanted to take my mom to Europe and, you know, give her a European vacation. So I said, I'm going to travel. I'm really like ponder on this, what I want to do with the marriage and also what I'm going to do in the next phase of my life. So I traveled, I went to Asia and, and I was able to like come up with some of the things I would want to have in my next business. So I love the idea of beauty. I just love it. I mean, I love hair care. I love skin care. I love it. And I knew the thing that I want to do is something I will do long-term. I did a seven year in home health care and the e-commerce business. The next thing I want to do is, is a ver for a very long time, maybe dedicate 15, 20 years more to it. So what would that thing be? And when you ask yourself, you really start thinking. And I was like, I want to be in the field of beauty. I want to still follow in my mother's footsteps and I want to still incorporate um, education in the field of aging, this thing that I'm passionate about. So what happens when you mix all this up? That's where Chiral was conceived and, and came together. It, it brings my passion for the field of aging, my passion for the sciences, uh, educating and the empowerment of women um, through entrepreneurship. It, it, also brings that, but also I realized there's a limitation in the world of skincare and that's um, like, they're trying to put you in little categories and not everyone fits into a category. Well, it needs to really be personalized for the individual. True anti-aging, well, there's no such thing as anti-aging, age well, true age well um, happens on a cellular level. So what would be a very effective approach and you know, I thought about these things and personalization only made sense. So that's how I came to customizing and personalizing skincare. Um, that's, that's where we are. <laughs> and, and the, the, the thing too, is that when you most, and most people don't realize that the skincare products that they've relied on, or they have had or used or, and they can be expensive as hell, uh, many of them are quite toxic. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so it might have mm -hmm. some type of dimethicone, silicone, economy. If it's a long, long word that you cannot say without taking a breath, mm -hmm. it's probably not good for you. <laughs> probably not something <laughs> right, you want to put on right. your skin. But a lot of these things, um, the, the, they are, they're cancer causing ingredients right. carcinogen um, yeah for sure and but but because the branding and the marketing is so slick right and a, a lot of times they'll have a 20 something year old you know advertising for um a wrinkle cream or an anti-aging type of night cream or something like that and they'll give you like a little like a enough like a teaspoonful in a glass jar and it'll cost you like 150 bucks um, but it's so much of it is the marketing and oh yeah, and it probably cost them a dollar fifty to make if that, maybe even less than that. So <laughs> I'll I'll talk about that. Yeah, and and and, and, yeah. and but they'll also talk about the um the ingredients and the sure. importance of the ingredients as well. Yeah, so when you're focused on efficacy, um how do you get effective products? So 
everyone talks about ingredients, ingredients, effective ingredients, but what's the concentration of those ingredients? And if you look on the back of the bottle, you'll see uh, um, the list of ingredients in descending order, ascending, descending, like the, the most is on top and <laughs> descending, yeah. So if you look like aqua water is typically number one and then there's some emulsifier and so forth. So if you really want effective, like how much of the active ingredients that they're advertising is actually in this bottle? Um, hyaluronic acid they're advertising, but it's the last ingredient. So all they have to do is put like a little drop um, and, and they could claim that there's hyaluronic acid in this. So. I don't want to knock the skincare industry, but there are a lot I'll of go ahead. Like advertising. <laughs> go ahead, and, knock them. <laughs> and we are all buying, I, I will say, everyone's buying the raw ingredients from the same suppliers, right? Like it's Dow Chemical. There's a couple big suppliers that are giving all the raw materials and raw ingredients. So let's let's start there. And and then the art form is bringing this together, um, bringing the, these, these ingredients together. And you're right, some of them are synthetic and, and toxic. Others are synthetic variants of, of something that's natural. Um, but yeah, so I wanted it to be effective and concentration is very important, right? Um, and then also, so it's not just the ingredient, it's the concentration of that ingredient and of what pH. No one talks about that, right? Like niacinamide is only effective at a pH of, you know, six, right? It's And, and nobody really talks about the, the, the pH and, and um how it correlates with efficacy of products. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to, if we're gonna have um, something to, so we have a four step regimen and it's all around the natural process of cellular turnover, which happens in our body, right? Uh, when we're born, cellular turnover of our skin happens every two weeks, but as we age in, in our fifties, it happens every 90 days, right? Somewhere in the 90 day range. So first we gotta like speed this process back up. And how do you do that? You do it through, desquamation or peeling of your skin, aka peeling of your skin. You could do that through lasers at a dermatologist's office or um, chemical peels through estheticians or retinoids through a dermatologist. So if I'm going to do something that's over the counter and not prescription grade, right? Um, it would really have to be personalized and I have to adjust the pH for the individual, right? It would start with an acid. If it's glycolic acid, first of all, not all acids are made for all skin types, right? If you have oily skin, glycolic won't penetrate as well as salicylic, right? It won't be as effective. So you have to personalize the ingredients for the individual and then adjust the pH. Because if I give you the same pH as somebody else, you might burn and, or they might not see any results. So. That was really important to me. Um, and then I wanted all the ingredients to be research-based and science-based. So if you go on our website, all the ingredients that could potentially be in any of our products, um, I'm gonna try to organize it a little bit more. I just wanted to put all the information out to people. So I have it listed as whether or not it's an active ingredient, inactive ingredient. And if you look, it looks like a little flashcard. It'll flip, like the ingredient name is on top. It'll flip and it'll explain what it is and it'll have the research paper associated with it. So I wanted to kind of educate um, people along the way as well, but um, did that answer your question? I went on and on. Oh my God. What was the question again? No, but we well, see the thing is, is that you're passionate about what you do and 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 passion fuels success and that's also why you're so successful because you've thought outside of the box as well yeah. instead of doing this one size fits all and assuming that every and cuz i mean and there is a growing market for men and men's skincare you just you know we don't we don't talk about it but the majority the focus of all the marketing and branding has been focused towards women because also there's this pressure with women you know, you've got to look young. You've got to, you know, you, you've got to look like you're 20 if you're 50 and all of that. But what we can do is we still, we, we want to feel good. We want to feel good in our mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. especially with so many people becoming entrepreneurs, you know, you got to put your face up. I'm, I've been in radio for 20 years. So I got to like, you know, nobody saw me. I was just behind a microphone you know, beaming in somebody's car as they're driving on, you know, on the 405 in Los Angeles. And I can be in pajamas and, you know, have, you know, <laughs> I can have a baseball hat on and, and nobody would know. But now getting, especially, I, I encourage all entrepreneurs 
if you have a product or a service or a business, or you're, you're an expert in any field to get onto YouTube because YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. And it's owned by the first largest search engine in the world. And mm -hmm. that's where people are going for information. They're, they're mm -hmm. typing in how, how, um, how do I look younger? What are things that I can do to make my skin feel better to what? And then there's skin problems. We haven't even talked about that. People with different mm -hmm. skin issues. Some have acne, adult acne, um, rosacea, you, you know, you name mm -hmm. it, you know, more than mm -hmm. I do about that. But the, the idea is that we need to get more out there, not just on our Facebooks, you know, with the selfies and stuff like that, but to, I encourage all my clients get onto YouTube and get on camera so that people can see your passion. They can feel it and they can see yeah, your eyes. Right. They can see in your eyes, your integrity, your passion for what you're doing. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. this is what's so beautiful about what you do is you're passionate about it and you can talk about it for days. <laughs> I, know, and I, I love know. that. <laughs> I could go on and on and on. But no, I um, love that. And now, <laughs> now you. with your, with, with your business too, um, it's more than just the, the skincare line. It's like you said, you were inspired by your mom. Um, I'm inspired by her as well, because my goodness, I, I first of all, in, in, you know, with Iran, we, we know that it's been very, very hard uh, for women for so long. It still is. Mm -hmm. And to be under that type of stress and pressure mm -hmm. with war on top of it, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> uh, poverty and mm -hmm. to help all those women. And then you become inspired to want to do that as a little girl, you wanting to do that as you get older. Talk about that aspect because I, I, I think a lot of people, when they're thinking about building a business, it's that mentality, that tunnel mentality of it's just me. I've just got to do this and I've got to work really hard, but there's a way that we can lift up others um, and become even more successful by doing that. Can you talk about that aspect of your business? Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, definitely. I was, I was inspired by her. I wanted to do, um, I wanted to educate. I wanted to teach women skills, right? That, that was the whole point. So how I learned entrepreneurship by doing, and someone believed in me, my husband believed in me and said, you could do it, go ahead, do it. And there's a lot of, I think, women out there that have it in them. They just don't know how to start, where to start. You know, it feels really intimidating. Oh my God, I got to incorporate. Like, what is that word? So I wanted to put that out there that it's really not not that intimidating and the sciences aren't that intimidating and I wanted to make it very um, digestible. So uh, that was that was the foundation and um, I wanted to have a business where um, all the back end would be done by us. It would be kind of bridging, if, if you could say, the gig economy with entrepreneurship. Like, how can we make this simple? And I did some research um, and network marketing came up. And just to backtrack a little bit, um, people that are familiar with Google and Facebook, as you said, the largest advertising agency in the world is Google um, advertising platform. And I was like, why give these guys the power of your dollar when you can give it to somebody else that can do it, a person, right? And then Facebook changes their algorithm uh, whenever they want. They have control over you at the end of the day. Like you don't own your marketing asset at the end of the day. So I didn't wanna, I wanted to have control over it. And, and, you know, part of the reason I didn't even take investment money this time was I wanted to take my time, build a business that I believe in. I didn't want to be under the pressure of someone saying, you know, meet these, these criteria by this, by the end of this quarter. Like, so I wanted to have control over my business. And in order to do that, um, yeah, the, 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 the Google. So <laughs> I, I, created the platform so that we do the entire back end. We take care of the product, the logistics, the fulfillment, which is very difficult. That's like 60% of most people's headaches and marketing is probably 40%. So let you do the marketing, 
and we'll handle the entire backend operation. And I think network marketing gets a really bad rep because traditional network marketing companies make you buy all this inventory that they know you probably can't sell. Lula Row is a great example. They, they you know, $7,000 worth of inventory some people would buy and they couldn't push it out. And yeah, the company grew two years or three years. They were a billion dollar company, but I didn't, I, I saw that, okay, that's why they have a bad rep. Well, how can I not do that? Well, all of our products are customized. You don't have to buy any inventory. There's no real investment. There's just a minimal investment of $89. That's the, the lowest product. And you're really paying just for the backend software to use. That covers the cost that we, you know, we had to put together. So, um, yeah, that, that's that's where I came with the, with the model. And network marketing made sense because, um, you know, it's like setting up a business at, at the fifth person down, you can still make money. So it's, it's like a business. You're, you're setting up a structure. You can make money as you sleep, right? And then there's another path you could follow, which is the affiliate marketing. If you want to just take it, if you have a following uh, already, you can post and just make straight commission. So that's the, that's the background. But through that, I wanted to also educate women host weekly events where we talk about aging. What is the process? Like on our platform, talk about the process of uh, aging in a very simplified way. Mitochondrial dysfunction. What is that? That's one of the causes of aging. Well, it's your mitochondria is the powerhouse that the cell is in. So that's, that's where... <laughs> Oh my gosh, Christina, I'll ramble on and on. <laughs> no, you're not rambling. You're educating I us. Love it. You're yeah. educating yeah. us. And and that's oh, see, you've tapped into something that I I believe in, and I've been preaching for a long time. That yes, you can go that solo route if you want to, and say mm -hmm. I'm just you know that tunnel vision of me. I got to just work hard, and um, it's all on my shoulders. Or if when your intention is to also, yes, it's to be successful, but it's also to help lift other people. Mm -hmm, when you do mm -hmm. that, then you're having your little ambassadors going out and promoting and sell and the, the, the brand recognition, but also they're making the sales for you, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. they're also able to lift themselves up out mm -hmm, of the mm -hmm. situation exactly and especially exactly. for women and especially for women because you know this better than anybody a lot of times women can find themselves in relationships that are toxic um in situations family situations that are horrific and they stay because financial worries and concerns uh if they have children they're like i need you know i need to be able to feed my kids and so they'll stay in a relationship or they'll stay mm -hmm. in a situation that's dangerous Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of that fear of money and Absolutely. they don't have the skill set maybe to go out mm -hmm. and get a nine to five job they do have small children so they need to do something also where they're at home um mm -hmm. or where they can they can build out their days and their hours exactly right? exactly so it gives yeah, the no, power totally. back to them and right, that's right. why um um network sales that's why those actually are so appealing to people but then you, you did a good thing because you also checked that box on let's not make it um, basically we're trying to sell a bunch of stuff to our, yeah. to our affiliates, to, um, to the people within the network. Yeah, because do it with I integrity. Was, I, yeah. I yeah. was one of those people way back when, um, I won't mention the name, it just has the initials MK way <laughs> back when. And I had to buy all this stuff. And yeah. first of all, yeah because it was all in makeup. I'm, and I'm not, mm -hmm. hello, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a makeup person, <laughs> but skincare and, you know, anti-aging or um, uh, a, a new way of looking at aging, aging well um, is something that I'm very much interested in and is appealing to me much more than like what color, you know, blush or mm -hmm. eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. um, but I found myself in that situation and I was like, I hate, I hated doing sales. I hated asking people if they wanted mascara and they wanted it on the regular basis. And I had all this inventory of stuff and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Yeah. Yeah. So when you have something though, that is exciting uh, for people and goes right to the root, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Cause mm -hmm. everybody, everybody wants healthy skin and they want to look and feel good in their bodies. Exactly. You yeah. got a hit here. You got a hit. Yeah. Here. 
Thank you. Thank you. And, and I think you, you said something, I wanted to do it with integrity at the end of the day. I mean, like I, I really, truly genuinely want to see women uh, be empowered. You could do this as a side, just a side job, you know, making a couple hundred dollars, or you could turn this into a full career and network marketing does allow people to, you know, um, do as little or as much as they want. So I love it. Yeah. And, and for as, as far as I know, we're the only one that's personalizing in the network marketing industry. We're the only personalized brand, um, skincare at least. So that's cool. I mean, there's not a lot of us to begin with in the custom skincare world, but. Well, and also cool. I like that it's you and it's not some big corporation. No, it's, it's you, thank honey. You. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, and can we, cause I know right now I'm hearing, uh, the collective audience going, um, okay. I want to know more. I want to know more about the skincare. I want to know more about those opportunities. So will you make sure that you give me the, the links for Absolutely. People to follow? I would love to. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you'll probably get a little rush of people signing up, which is great. Cause that's what this is all about. Um, the other, the other thing that's really important in conscious capitalism or conscious um, entrepreneurship is the idea of there's enough to go around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, 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 I see this, um, the struggle daily with people who haven't really grasped that yet. My favorite thing is to, um, if somebody needs something, um, I know who's a specialist, right? I know somebody who's this, this person is really great at website design. This person over here is an amazing audio engineer. This person over here specializes in what music videos, whatever. So what I've, what I found in my world is that when I promote them and get them work and get them successful, it only lifts me up because that energy, mm -hmm. and I don't know, it's not karma. It's just energy, right? Mm -hmm knowing that there's enough to go around and yeah, when you yeah. help others that help comes and sometimes it comes at the perfect time when you really mm -hmm. need it right mm -hmm. and i know that's how you yeah, do yeah. Your business as well right yeah i love that i love that you say that that's true yeah there's more than enough abundance let's function from a place of abundance rather than lack you're right um, there's billions and billions and billions of dollars out there and all dollars are all money is is energy and it's an exchange mm -hmm. for energy, energy being exchanged for energy. But this, when we start to think scarcity and lack, that's mm -hmm. when we also put out an energy, we put out these little antenna, you know, things of, uh, I'm desperate. And this is why I, I'm, so, I'm so excited you got to come on the show. So we could talk about lifting each other up. And folks, if when you're listening to this, or if you're watching this on YouTube, and you resonated with it and you're, you got those goosebumps. Like I do the, in, these, <laughs> those little intuitive goosebumps, take that as a sign and don't just listen to this or watch this and go, Oh, that's great for somebody else. Somebody else will be successful with this. Somebody else. Um, it's you stumbled across it for a reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it's there's, I always believe in synchronicity. There's a reason why you're watching this, or there's a reason why you're listening to this. And there's a reason why you got those goosebumps. So I want you to take the next step and take action. So we will post, um, well, if they want to find out more about the actual skincare line, they can go to it's uh, Cairo.com. And I'm going to spell yeah. that for them because it's an unusual spelling. You could tell me about that in a second. It's okay. Q Y R A L.com. Again, that's Q Y R A L dot com and can they go there and also find out information about either being an affiliate or working with you yeah yeah totally if you go to chiral.com slash partners um it'll take you to the partner page and if you scroll to the bottom it'll give you the the two categories of affiliate or um or uh consulting partner and you know what are the benefits of each and so forth so absolutely and right. thank you yeah We'll I know it's that, an unusual name. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the we'll put the link in the show notes so people can definitely click on that. But um, tell us about the name. Oh, good. Okay, this is where I get excited. Um, 
So I wanted to pay a little homage to my field of chemistry and chirality is actually in chemistry and math. It's a non um, superimposable mirror image. So it's a mirror image. But what happens in chemistry is you'll have a mirror image of a molecule. Think about your left hand and your right hand made out of the same exact um, molecule, same exact components, but it behaves completely different inside your body, even though it's exactly because it's a mirror image, it acts um, it hits different receptors and behaves differently. So I was like, oh my God, that's like us people. We're, even though we're so similar, right? Um, we're all still so different. And I loved it. I was like, oh my God, this resonates really well. And I remember learning that in, in one of my organic chemistry classes about chirality and that name just stuck with me all these years. And um, so I'm glad I was able to uh, name my company that, but it's short, it's quick. I, Q-Y-R-E-L, it's unique. There's no other chirals out there. <laughs> so when you Google, you're not stumbling across um, a million other things and you're not on the last page. So and, <laughs> and those those unusual names also, they will get they will get attention as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very, very mm -hmm. clever. I love it. And yeah, thank um, you. And the the probably when you first came across it many, many years ago, that word, there was a little resonance with you. There's a little tingle like Oh, you're special. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just so, I was blown away that how can a molecule be identical, made out of the same number of atoms and everything, but because it's a mirror image, it behaves differently. So I, I don't know, it just stuck with me and this concept, um, yeah, resonated so much, but you're right. Like something inside of you ticks and you're like, oh, well, I'll be checking, I'll be checking you out. I'll be checking the website thank out. You. And, thank um, you. Thank you. And trust me, because I, I I love skincare. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I I am a freak for it, so I will be checking uh -huh. it out. Um, and I encourage our listeners and our viewers to check it out as well. Again, it's Q Y R A L dot com. Links will be provided in the show notes. And I want to thank you so much, honey. Oh, thank you. Thank for you. Us today. You could come back thank anytime. You. Okay. Anytime oh my gosh. You thank want. you. Oh, you're so sweet. This is so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank my you. Uh, I, yeah. This is a lot of fun. I my pleasure, it. dear. My pleasure. <laughs> All right. Um, and I want to thank you, wonderful, wonderful listeners, for tuning in today. And if you're viewing this on YouTube and you love what you're seeing, please share the video with others. Like and subscribe as well if you like. Because if you like and subscribe and you click the bell in YouTube, then you'll get set notifications when there's a new show up. So you'll never miss an episode of Out of the Box. But also you can share this information with others and help inspire them because maybe there's somebody that you know that would also really do well um, with Honey and her company. And that's what this is all about, uplifting up. Yeah, and I... And I just wanted to add one other thing. If there's anyone out there that wants to start their own skincare brand and doesn't want to do high roll, um, I would love, love to help. I would love to talk with them about, you know, how to start and how to set up finding manufacturers. And, you know, so, so any, if, if you want to chat about starting a business, um, just reach out to me, honey, H-A-N-I-E-H at chiral.com. I'm here of service to, to everyone out there. Wow. So please reach out to me. That is I'd so generous help. of you. Yeah. That is, well, your, your mom's daughter, I mean it. right? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, love. Thank you so much. And again, thank you, thank wonderful you. listeners and viewers for tuning in. As I always say, remember to think outside of that damn box. Bye for now. Mm -hmm. Bye. Oh